Thank you all today for joining us for the Elemental 2024 Juror Talk. Today I'm joined by Mr. Tim Yeager of Ringling College. Just a few words to intro. I am your host, Amani Freeman. I'm the Exhibitions Manager for the Maryland Federation of Art. Um, the Maryland Federation of Art is a visual nonprofit organization that hosts more than 40 exhibitions every year. Our mission is to make connections in the local and online communities through art. With exhibits and events in the Circle Gallery in Annapolis, Maryland, online, and in numerous alternative venues. We provide artists of all genres, media, and backgrounds with the opportunity to exhibit work selected by professionally credentialed jurors and to be recognized with monetary awards. So artists do not have to be members to enter our exhibitions, um, but members do have several advantages, such as lesser entry fees, access to networking and additional exhibition opportunities. And if you're interested in learning about becoming a member, please visit our membership page on our website um, by typing in the link below. So just to preface, Elemental 2024. This exhibition is about what artists find um, in worldly elements and how do they resonate with them. Uh, the foundations of our earth, uh, such as the intensity of light and flames, the calmness of raging tides of our seas, and the freedom of taking flight into the endless sky. Early chemists believed earth, fire, water, and air were the elements of life and reality, and when surrounded by them, it's not hard to see why. So about our juror today, Mr. Tim Yeager is originally from Patica, Kentucky. He moved to Sarasota over 25 years ago to study at Ringling College of Arts and Design on a full trustee scholarship. Since joining the institution in 2009, he has held key roles, including assistant director of galleries and campus and community engagement manager, um, and significantly shaped the col college's cultural landscape in that role. As director and chief curator of galleries and exhibitions, Mr. Yeager has curated over 150 exhibitions with a strong emphasis on diversity, inclusion, and innovative marketing strategies. He also teaches the popular class role of the curator in the fall and intermediate figure drawing in the spring, enriching the academic experience for students through his insights and practical knowledge. Beyond his administrative teaching roles, Mr. Yeager is passionate about art education and community involvement. He conducts workshops and mentorship programs while serving on the boards of organizations like the Sun Coast Black Arts Collection, furthering advocating for artistic exploration and creativity within the Sarasota community. Now I'm just going to pass it over to Mr. Yeager if you'd like to say hello, say a few words about the exhibition. The floor is his. Well, greetings, everybody. Thank you so much for your participation in this exhibition. Submitting work to a juried exhibition is always a difficult thing to do. Uh, it's something where you are uh, submitting your work to be juried. And uh, one thing I want everybody to know is that that's not a reflection of you and uh, your creative talents if you weren't given an award in this particular exhibition. Uh, you should all be applauded for your creativity. And, and thank you again for your support uh, for this exhibition. It was wonderful to look at all of your work and to dissect it and think about all the different ideas and applications that you provided within your work. And so uh, there's a lot of merit in just that in, its, in and of itself. So at the end of the day, uh, you, everybody should applaud themselves and thank you again for your participation. So this is one of the first works that I selected for an honorable mention. And there's a number of different things that I uh, juried the work on uh, for awards. Um, one was a connection to theme or creativity and originality. Um, and then this particular piece, I was looking at execution and skill as well. It's a wonderful use of, of paint in this oil on linen piece. Uh, one thing I also look for in, in work of merit is uh, the level of involvement, which this particular work uh, seems to share with us. Second piece for honorable mention, I thought was, uh, goes back to my second point that I previously mentioned is creativity and originality. Uh, looking at something from a different perspective, uh, the play of light in this particular piece really struck me. Uh, so what you're looking at is not exactly what you're looking at. And I like the originality that this work carries within it. Um, again, I feel that it, it conveys a 
uh, connection to the theme of the exhibition uh, in that um, it's about water, ultimately, water and light. The, the buildings uh, and the narrative within the buildings is, is an addition to that, which I think is absolutely wonderful. The third honorable mention, I was struck by just that, the, I, I go back to not just the level of involvement, but with, with uh, photography, um, it's sometimes it can be perceived as easy, but not in a situation such as this. Uh, this is one of those things where you have to be there in order to experience something like this. And uh, of course, click the, the camera at exactly the right time. Uh, I love the symmetry of this piece itself and the mood that it portrays, which I think is uh, wonderful, which led me to an emotional impact towards the narrative and, and concept of the exhibition. Then we get on to the juror's choice. Um, this piece was wonderful. Again, I love the bird eye perspective of this, the creative and original, uh, a high uh, mark for execution and skill. Um, I love the, the particular use of the paint in, the, in this uh, piece itself. Um, very well done. Um, I also like the idea of employing digital medium uh, into this as well, which this artist successfully did. Moving on to another juror's choice, uh, I like. Uh, I thought it would be important to include um, some sculpture, sculptural uh, elements to this piece. Uh, it's a sculpture of a hand holding a square prism, which to me suggests human interaction with structure and the balance between chaos and order and the role of humanity in shaping and understanding the elements around us. It's also a very good demonstration of, of mastery of the medium. And it's not something that you see every single day, which makes it to me very unique. And then we get on to the uh, first prize, uh, which I thought was an absolutely wonderful piece. One thing I also looked at with this piece is the size, which um, is not something that we can easily grab through the screen. Um, I really wish I was able to see this work in person. Uh, it's a painting that zooms in on clouds and speaks to the ethereal and ever-changing nature of the sky that reminds us of the elemental forces of air and water, which living in Sarasota and just going through Hurricane Milton, I can definitely attest to in perpetual motion. And so with that, um, again, absolutely wonderful use of, of the medium balance uh, of cohesion. Uh, I like the narrative that this piece gives off and where it puts me uh, as the viewer of, of the work. And of course, without a doubt, the execution and skill of this work is, is very well accomplished. So congratulations to Murray Taylor. Here are all our awards laid out and we're gonna feature these on our website if anyone would like to look into the artist a bit more. But thank you so much, Mr. Yeager. Um, it's been a pleasure to work with you. You've been a supreme professional. Um, despite, like he mentioned, going through Hurricane Milton in Sarasota, he was always, you know, meeting his deadlines and being very responsible and just taking real care of um, the jurying process. So I want to extend that thank you to you from MFA. Well, Amani, um, I'd like to thank you as well and extend my gratitude again to all the artists who participated, the Maryland Federation of Art, um, your courtesy and, and um, communication is second to none, the sponsors and, and all the volunteers and the dedication that made this exhibition possible. So thank you. To, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, just want to reiterate, I'll reiterate that um, it was a pleasure working with you. Um, it was, you made the process very easy. So I appreciate that. Um, you can tell that, you know, not even just from reading your bio alone, but just interacting with you and hearing the way that you um, discuss pieces that, you know, you've been around the block and you know what you're talking about. Um, there's real insight that you shared into the pieces. And I appreciate that, not just from my perspective, because I have had time to look at the works, but hearing the way that you explain them, it does bring new perspective. And I do appreciate that. Thank you all very much. Much appreciated. Well, thank you all for joining us. We're going to put this on our YouTube channel. So please feel free to come back, watch it, share it around with your friends. And uh, that'll be all for today. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.